Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Sharp Car Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If this video is helpful, please like, share, most of all, subscribe. Uh, let my videos play if you want. Um, so remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. So today we're going to try to start a new brake line inside this Chevy Avalanche. This is a pretty common problem for mechanics. Every once in a while, uh, you go to start a brake line and you can't get the thing to start in there. A um, couple things that you need to note if you're the novice. Uh, you want everything to be square. So you want it to be square this way, this way, and everything else. And I'm going to try to set this phone down and show you how I do it. What I do is I take the brake line and I pull the nut up to the back. And then I push this down. And then I try to look at it and make sure it's square inside the hole. Now, the biggest problem is, is you should be able to just screw these in. But sometimes they don't want to do that so it feels like it's cross-threading so after you've checked and made sure that it's that it's parallel the way it's supposed to be right to left left to right in and out up and down it's kind of hard to see if it's up and down this way but you can kind of get the idea when you have the line nut out i'm gonna try to set the phone down here and screw it in while you watch is the hopes can't promise you that I'll be able to do it, but I will sure try. And once you've got it turned down just a little bit, it should turn rather freely. And I'm certain that this one's starting, which I'm very lucky that it is. Um, and you can see it go down very quickly. If it starts to really kink or bind, you've got a problem. But just do that, and then once it kinks up right there, just give it a couple little turns with your wrench. You'll know it's going in. And that should be good. Remember, if this video is helpful, please like, share, comment. Nice comments anyways. Most of all, subscribe. Thanks.